How's it going everybody? Brutal Sam is here. So we now have a WebKit exploit for PS4 version 9.00, all thanks to Slarsgov who released it yesterday. So this WebKit exploit works only on version 9.00 and does not work on lower versions. However, those lower versions still have WebKit vulnerabilities that may be turned into an exploit in the future but as for now we only have one working webkit exploit which is the 9.00 now if you want to test this uh, on your ps4 to see uh, if it works for you and you want to know what a successful test looks like well you will be getting a series of messages one after another until you get to the final message which is just a bunch of numbers a long string of numbers if you don't get this message uh, at the end then the test was not successful for you some people will get uh, three messages four and then they get nothing after that that is not a successful test you must get this message here so the test is successful now when will a kernel exploit be released so we can have a fully working jailbreak well nobody actually knows there's only this CTERT bounty on hacker one uh, that may be disclosed if CTER chooses to disclose it and Sony allows that, we may get 852, which means uh, we don't have a WebKit exploit for that. So Slarsgovi has to work his magic and make this uh, 9.00 WebKit work on lower versions or uh, developers make a WebKit exploit from the previous uh, WebKit vulnerabilities that we've seen in the last weeks. Uh, anyways, uh, do not panic and just go update to 9.00 because there is a WebKit exploit but not for lower. No, don't just stay on as lower versions as you can because you don't know the stability of the next jailbreak and also you will be waiting a long time maybe if you update to 9.00. So that's it. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to tell you today. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.